Hey going, Landon here from Zero Grid. Just thought I'd run through some common mistakes that I see in off-grid systems and this is to keep it reliable and helping understand what's going on and, um, and most importantly safe. So um, this here is the first one that I've got and it is about uh, the, the shunt. So a shunt, if you're not aware, it is a battery monitor that goes into the system and and it, the, the basics of the shunt is that it's a, um, it's a flow meter. So it's a, it does some very simple maths with measuring how much power has flown through. So say for example, if it's um, a 200 amp hour battery and it's used 50 amp hours, the shunt will tell you that it's at 75%. So, and then if it adds on another 25, it'll tell you that, I don't know that math, 80 something percent. So um, it, it's very simple. And, and because it is super simple, it's super important to get these couple of things right so that it, um, it, it gives you the right number as well and for us to be able to believe and trust in what it says. So, um, so in this diagram, you can see where I've got um, the shunt located with, with all of the things. So all of the discharges and all of the charges all flow in through here. So the way a DC electrical system works is it, it goes in the positive and out the negative or whichever way you're, um, you're, you're thinking of charging or discharging. So all of that power has to throw, flow through that. And, and that's one of the, one of the things that are easy to get wrong. So what I, what I see sometimes is that the shunt's in the, you know, the correct shunt, the correct settings, but we've forgotten one of the charges to go through, through that shunt. And, and that's what, um, throws throws the settings out so it could read if it's a charger it could be at full but your display is only reading 40 percent because all of that charge from that charger hasn't gone through the shunt to be uh, measured as charging or if it's uh, if it's a load it could be the other way around it could be um, showing that it's at 100 percent but really it's not because that load hasn't been accounted for through that shunt so what we are to do is to make sure that all of the the sh uh, wiring goes through that shunt so and and the best way to do that is to have a, a single cable going to the shunt and then the shunt going to like a bus bar where we can distribute from all the charges and and loads if you like coming from that so so that's how we make sure that we are accounting for all of those loads because of that simple maths if if one of those things are thrown out that maths is going to be all incorrect basically so um, and the the other thing that I find is is those settings not being set correctly. So when the shunt um, uh, does that simple maths, it also has a set to a hundred percent marker. So and that marker is when it's at its full capacity. So say it's a, a lithium battery and its charge rate is fourteen point six. So when that battery sits at fourteen point six for a minute to three minutes, depending on which shunt you have, that's when the shunt will go, yep, it's fully charged because it's hit that, that charge point and now it's reset. So if that charge point is uh, on the shunt setting set to 14.7 and we're only charging to 14.6, it's never gonna hit that reset mark to, to be telling the shunt it's at 100%. So um, that's, that's an important thing. And the other thing is to have the correct battery capacity set in there. So. Um, if it's a 100 amp hour battery to set 100 amp hours and 200 amp hour to be 200 amp hours. And, and it gets a little bit complicated and hard when, um, you know, some of the 200 amp hour batteries out there are really 182 amp hours and, and that type of stuff. So so it, it is all going to be a guesstimation. But um, the if we follow these couple of steps, it's going to really help that guess be as close as as accurate as possible so so that's my two things to check is the correct settings and the correct wiring to get the shunt to be given out um, good readings for your off-grid system and and to be able to understand what is going on there so anyway hope this helps cheers